Hello, my name is Andy O'Neill, and I'm going to do a quick how-to video looking at the substring function of Integromat. So first of all, let's look and see what the substring does. Uh, basically, the substring is you can take one of your variables and cut a section of that variable uh, into pieces uh, by character count. And we have an example here. This is from the Integromat support page. Uh, we see substring here, and our, our value is hello. And if we have 0 and 3, there's a start number and an end number uh, for the position of your text. So 0 and 3 in the word hello gives us the letters H-E-L. If we do 1 and 3, we get E-L. So it starts at character 1 and goes to 3, which only gives us two characters. So I've got four examples here. Uh, we're going to do an integromat. Um, I have a list of audio file names here that we're going to reuse for these four examples. And in this first one, we're going to extract the first five characters. And it's going to be very similar to this. It's going to be a zero and a five for our two numbers. The next example is we're going to extract the last five characters. Now, uh, this is a little trickier because we don't know the length of our string. So we have to calculate that and back do a little math in our function. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the file extension. So uh, this assumes there's only one dot in the file name, which is prior to the file extension. And so we're going to separate it there to get those. You'll note this one has four characters, so our count won't necessarily, uh, we can't set that at three characters. Not every uh, file extension is three characters. And then on this one, we're going to do the opposite of that. We're going to extract the file name. Again, this is assuming there's only one dot in the file name that it separates the name and the extension. So let's go over here to Integromat. And what I've done, I've just put a CSV step here. Here's our four file names. And I've given the column. This is a one column CSV file. Basically, we're just parsing this so we can run it for our functions. So our first function up here is to get the first five characters. So right here you can see here's our substring. Uh, we added the file name here, which means that is the uh, value we want to split up. And then we're doing a zero and a five. So this is going to give us the first five characters of our file name. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again. And we'll look at, I've done a text aggregator here that just adds these together so we can see them. So there is the first five characters of each of our file names that we started with over here. Pretty straightforward. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look here at getting the last five characters. So this is a little tricky, a little more tricky. I'm going to put these on different lines so that we can kind of separate this out. So here's our substring function. Here is the value we want to use and our colon. And here is our closing parenthesis for the substring. So now here are two values. Now normally these are numerical values. We're going to, in our first example, we did zero and five. But in this case, we want to get the last five characters. So what I've done is I've nested a function here called length. And so length, you give length a string and it will count and tell you how long that string is. Um, and so what we've done here is we've said we want the length of the file name and then we use the minus, we use a subtraction from our math function. You can't just put a, a subtract in from your keyboard. You need to go to the math functions and do the minus sign five. So this is going to say find the length of our string and whatever that is, back it up five characters. So that's going to be our starting point. And then our ending point is the length of the string. So it's going to be, we want this to, to get the last five characters. So our first character is going to be five less than the length. And the second number is going to be the length. And so that will, regardless of the length of this string, get us the five last five characters of this string. So if we go over here and look at our result, you can see one, two, three, four, five five characters. Here are the last five characters of each of those file names. Now, if we're looking at file names, obviously this isn't terribly helpful. This might be helpful with something else. So now let's look at how we get the file names only. So let me go back here and do the same thing. So here's our substring function, the file name, and here's our closing parenthesis for that function. 
the first number we're going to use is zero because we want the file name we want to uh, start at the beginning of the file name now we want to break the file name at the dot so in our example that's showing right here this file is a dot mp3 so what we need to do is we need to find where that dot is and cut it off and get rid of the file extension so our first number is zero because we're starting from the beginning and the second number is we're going to do an index of which is a function that says tell me the numbered spot of where something is in a string so we're going to say what is the index of the and then the first value you put is a file name and then we're going to put the dot so this is going to return a number and it's going to tell us where what n numerical position that dot is and that's going to be the end of our substring so we should end up with my underscore audio and that's it in that particular one so if we look at our values here my underscore audio my underscore audio two yes these are working these are working correctly so for example this first one is my audio if we go look at our original my audio dot mp3 so what it's done is it's found that dot in our file name and that's the end of our substring so it's cut off the dot and the extension so in our last example we're going to do the opposite of that we're going to retrieve the extension uh, we're going to retrieve the extension from our file name and get rid of the file name itself so this is going to be a little bit different let's open this here and I'll separate this out again so here is our substring the beginning here and our closing we're going to get the index of the file name so this is a little bit different we're getting the index of the dot first so we're saying we want the substring from the from after the dot to the to the end of the total file name so the length of the file name so the first thing of our first number here that's going to be calculated is the index of the dot and the last number is going to be the length of the string not all file names are three digits so we have to allow for you know four or even five digit long file names so if we go in here uh, let's see go to my results here and right here are our file names so there's a three digit file name three digit three digit and then there's our four digits so it worked correctly it found that dot and it returned us the dot in the extension if you didn't want the dot in there you could add a plus sign actually I'll just show you how to do that right here so we want the index of the dot and I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna hit plus the number one and that will get rid of our dot if we run the rerun this now we have only our extensions because we moved that first number out one character which got rid of the dot and left us our extensions I hope this video was helpful the substring function is an extremely uh, valuable and helpful tool in Integromat and I use it a lot these are four examples how you can use it you can use it in much more complex examples parsing out text even parsing out HTML from websites so I hope this was helpful if you have any questions or comments please leave them below